So this little puppy came in. It's a, just a young little thing. You can see it's a pit bull, pit bull cross, and it's actually the interesting blue, blue color, blue-gray. Um, it was the run of the litter, and uh, about a couple weeks after its vaccinations, it got really crusty eyes and crusty nose, and its lymph nodes are swollen very, very large. Like, okay, let's just show you. This is this big thing is a lymph node, and it should be about the size of my finger. But you can see if I push, it's that big, um, and also this side's big. Um, the ears are very crusty and inflamed um, and actually you can see the legs kind of curved out and very sore in the joint I know I told you already and uh, so we've got sore joints what, what could cause all this? in this case this is what we call puppy strangles and now it's called juvenile cellulitis and what that means is this poor little puppy reacted to something, possibly the vaccines, possibly something else it got a hold of, that made it just swell up and get all crusty like that. So what we do is we use an antibiotic like doxycycline, which is an immune modulator, and some prednisone. And uh, with those two, hopefully, the prednisone will take down the swelling and the doxycycline will take down the swelling and um, that will help this little pup get feel better. He's not really, he's eating, he's drinking, but he's not feeling that great. Um, so we're going to use the medications and in this case we're not doing a whole bunch of diagnostic tests because the people really don't want to spend on that much money, do they? But they want you to be better. So that's juvenile cellulitis or puppy strangles. Isn't that a cute puppy? And the blue color is a dilution gene that dilutes out the black color and makes it blue. And this puppy was a run to the litter and he was always kind of needing extra help. And some puppies like that just are very, have their very immature immune system that can easily get disturbed and whacked out. And the vaccines could have caused it, a warmer could have caused it, flea control could cause it. A really high potent uh, treat with chemicals could could possibly cause it. So there's a lot of things that could lead up to this puppy strangles or juvenile cellulitis. Remember though, a swollen face can be caused by other things. A bee sting can cause a big swelling in the face. Uh, food allergies can cause the face to all swell up. Uh, cat scratch and abscess can cause the face to swell up. You know, I should always look inside the mouth to see if you see blood or swellings or abscess or bad teeth. That can always cause uh, swollen faces. But this was so characteristic with all the lymph nodes, so swollen that it, with the eyes crusty and swollen, the ears affected, uh, and the lymph nodes so huge, it's almost a, a classic for uh, what we used to call puppy strangles, juvenile cellulitis. Remember, you can always get, um, if your dog does get stung by a bee, springtime's coming, you can uh, look up uh, dosages for um, Benadryl and aspirin, and it may help your you uh, your dog if it's limping or or gets a bee sting or other things. And I have a free download called Dr. Greg's 11 Practical Home Remedies. Just go to dogdishdiet.com and click on the Practical Home Remedies and the PDFs right there, and you can download it. And it gives you some practical over-the-counter remedies for common situations. Remember, it's not a not um, an alternative for the correct diagnosis and treatment, but it's, it's so expensive to go to the emergency clinics now, and it's helpful to just have that to refer to in case you can do help it yourself out. Anyway, also check out Dog Dish Diet because not a day goes by that I don't work backwards from a case of diarrhea or ear infections or skin infections to an ingredient in the food or human food or commercial food. Anyway, we'll have a great day.